So we ran the study at Tagugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary in Sierra Leone, where because of the illegal trade in bushmeat, uh, they take in a lot of uh, young orphan chimpanzees. And typically the chimpanzees are given to a local woman who takes care of them. She effectively acts as their surrogate human mother. She cuddles them, she uh, carries them, she helps feed with them, uh, feed them and occasionally sleep with them in the cages. So in the experiment, while the surrogate human mother um, and an unfamiliar experiment are played with the chimpanzees, uh, they either repeatedly yawned or they performed various uh, control behaviors. Now what we found was that chimps do catch yawns from humans and they go through a similar developmental pattern as human children do. Infant chimps are immune to contagion. None of the young chimpanzees uh, yawn to either their familiar or the unfamiliar experimenters yawn, while chimpanzees above five years caught the yawns that they saw. And contrary to what we expected, uh, we didn't find any difference between the chimpanzees' likelihood to catch the yawns from their human surrogate mother or the unfamiliar uh, experimenter, which leaves at least two possibilities. Now, we know that adult chimpanzees seem to distinguish between yawns from familiar and unfamiliar chimpanzees. Um, so they, they only catch yawns when they see videos of familiar chimpanzees yawning, whereas if they see videos of chimpanzees from another group yawning, then they don't catch their yawns. So one possibility is that chimpanzees generalize their yawn responses when it comes to humans, irrespective of familiarity or attachment history with the humans. Uh, that is, it's possible that chimpanzees may apply a kind of uh, targeted empathy to interactions with members of their own species, so other chimpanzees, and selectively catch yawns from familiar chimpanzees while they apply a more generalized form of empathy to interactions with humans. A reason, one reason for this may be that chimpanzees typically engage in competitive or even hostile relationships with unfamiliar members of their own species, but they rarely do so with humans, who they mostly experience as cooperative. Now, alternatively, it's possible that chimpanzees switch from a sort of generalized empathy to all individuals, irrespective of species, uh, when they're young, to a more targeted empathy, if one will, as they mature into adults and when they possibly at that time have stronger reasons to differentiate between friends and foes.